In front of you are a few electrical components, and I'm going to show you what a capacitor does in this video. This is a capacitor, but I need to show you the other components first. This is a battery bank. In it, there are eight total AA batteries. Each of these batteries has about 1.5 volts in it, and when they're arranged in series, like all of these are, you get a total of about 12 volts. This is our negative side in black, and this is our positive side in red. This is an automotive LED bulb. If you connect power to it, it lights up. Did you notice how it kind of flickered as I was trying to connect these two wires to it? That's because there's no delay in this turning on, like an incandescent bulb, that would have a delay. This is instant on, instant off. So this capacitor is rated for 16 volts. If you go above that, there's a good chance you'll burn this thing out, blow it up, or otherwise damage it. However, we're working with 12 volts right now, so this is gonna be safe for that. Capacitors can store electricity when power is properly sent to it, and can discharge electricity when something connected to it is in need of it. Capacitors only like direct current like this battery here and don't like alternating current like the power that you find in your house. That means they have polarity, a negative side and a positive side. You can tell because this one is marked. There's this stripe here and no stripe here. Now don't try this at home, but let's provide power to this capacitor from the battery bank and give it to this LED. So this being the negative side will connect to the black wire and this side will connect to the red wire. I'll charge it up by holding it on there. All right, that should have a charge, and I'll just make contact with the metal parts of this LED. All right. So it's blinking in and out because I'm not making perfect contact with the metal points, but you can see it started up bright and it's dimming down. Let's do that again. Positive on positive, negative on the negative. So what's happening here is that we're charging the capacitor with this battery and discharging it with this LED. All right, let's do everything at the same time now. So what's happening here is that I'm charging up the capacitor and lighting the bulb up at the same time. I've got the capacitor and the LED in parallel. I'm able to light up the LED and charge the capacitor at the same time with the same battery bank. Now if I disconnect the battery, then the capacitor still has power to give to the LED. And that means that if I'm making not perfect contact with it, and I'm bouncing up and down off of the wire, then the LED still lights up, and it doesn't flicker on and off like if we didn't have that capacitor there. Let's add another capacitor. All right, I'm able to light up this LED, and if I disconnect the battery from it, it stays bright roughly twice as long. So these capacitors are in parallel. Both the positive feed are connected and both the negative feed are connected. Connecting these two identical capacitors in parallel to this LED means we've doubled the capacitance of just one capacitor. Capacitance is measured in farads, which is this number here, 5600, the weird looking U and then the capital F. That's 5600 microfarads. Connecting these identical capacitors in parallel like this does not alter the voltage that they work at, but it is like using one capacitor that's rated for 11,200 microfarads. In oversimplified terms, think of the voltage as how powerful the electricity is, and the farads as how long that electricity will last when you're using it. If any part of this video was unclear or you have further questions about how capacitors work, feel free to ask any question that you happen to have about capacitors, even if it goes beyond what this video was supposed to cover. Also, I'm going to be using these capacitors in a future automotive lighting upgrade project, so make sure you're subscribed so you see that video when it comes out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video.